Hello, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair with a functionality pro video for a set of Panasonic boards sent by a customer with the name Jody Gilbert. Um, I don't know if, if this handwriting is from Jody, the technician that pulls out the boards, uh, labels them because sometimes we open a lot of them at the same time. Uh, different technicians do different things here. And uh, I just know <laughs> this guy writes on every single board that, that we open. Uh, so this is the trio of boards that were sent to us. And the reason I make this video is not only to show uh, that they work, but also to comment on something, because this is a case that is one in a hundred. First, this is our media player that can be seen in uh, many other videos. And one thing that I'm showing is that there are no missing or merged lines from top to bottom. The image is clear. Uh, and everything is fine. I'll get back to that in a second. Uh, what I want to say is the customer sent three boards pretty much as they should. And 90% uh, of the time when when this fails, what fails is the sustain board, the SC board. There are two different common, common failures that occur on it. And whichever of the two happens, actually there are three if we count the corrosion on the screw lines whichever one of the three occurs the corrosion by itself is not fatal but it's something that needs to be fixed and we did it on that board but anyhow 90 percent of the time when those tvs fail it is because uh, that board fails whether the energy generation whether the sustain generation form or the energy recovery transistors blow that doesn't matter Whichever of those two happens, we treat everything on the board, uh, which can cause failure and which we know for a fact that wears out and is likely to fail. Uh, and this is why we don't have much problems with uh, boards that we service and this is also why boards cost more. But anyhow, 90% of the time when this TV fails, the first thing to fail is that board. About 10% of the time, 9% of the time when that TV fails, and sometimes it happens when that board fails is the very top I see here there is an integrated circuit under those heat sinks that very top one fails and needs to be replaced and this can happen on its own about 10% of the time replacing that takes care of the problem and about 1% of the time it is the lower buffer board that fails and this is exactly what has happened here the other two boards were intact what was the problem was that very last I see here which is now replaced and as you saw uh, the TV is working fine what I want to point out is what this means is that statistically we didn't do anything on that board we didn't do anything on that board statistically it is very likely that one of those two will fail very soon most likely about nine to one chance it's gonna be that one and right now we have no reasons to do anything on any of those two other than statistics and we're making this video and we'll, we will be sending it to the customer and they will decide what to do. We can invoice them for the repair of that lower buffer, testing of those two, and they can have them back for as, you know, as cheap as the repair on a single board and test of another two for our terms and conditions. But they should know that this is about to fail. And what I would recommend is redo on that board. Um, and it's not a matter of recommendation as much as it is as a hard known fact that this is about to fail i don't know when exactly it will happen but if we are already charging i think 10 or 15 dollars for telling you that this board works we might as well charge you another 50 or 60 and replace all those transistors that do wear out and fail uh, knowing how all these things work i kind of get a different different view on the whole cars and dealership thing where they charge a lot of money for in my opinion uh, useless stuff <laughs> i do understand that it's not useless if they do it right at least but anyhow this is going to be your choice this is one in a hundred times where top buffer is fine sustain board is fine the problem was with the lower board uh, and if you install all those three properly you should be good 99% of the time when we have problems with boards that we return for those uh, Panasonics it is because people don't insert properly those connectors and as a result they have horizontal lines or in worst case uh, scenarios which are rare unless they try to mess with the connections while the TV is working um, horizontal lines so if you do have lines after you put 
those boards. If you don't have horizontal lines on the screen, it is because those plugs are not inserted properly and evenly on both sides. We have other videos in in other videos we have explained why and the little ears and everything. Uh, but that's it. It works fine. And uh, decide what you want to do. Best of luck in your repairs. We did what we had to do.